Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Resident Evil Director's Cut Dual Shock version. I am Rufo, playing this game for you. Woo! I'm going. I'm going to acknowledge something, which is that I lost my previous save and had to redo and had to redo that first part. It's boiled down to me getting here without having spent a shotgun shell and having 15 more bullets. And doing the whole thing a little, just, just a little bit faster. But beyond that, nothing has changed. So, up the stairs we go to fight more zombies. Take that, punk. And you. And that's it for you. More bullets for the gun. There's another zombie down the hall, but we'll deal with him when we're going that way. Speaking of zombies in the hall... Hello, sir! Oh, Joe. Please, uh, target the one closer to you. Okay, if they don't want to come around the corner, I'll deal with that. You still alive? Yes, you are. No, you're not. Oh, that guy did go down. Excellent. Well, let's go get us a key. By going out and meeting Forrest. Because now that we've explored downstairs like we, like we told Barry we were going to, we aren't going to run into him. Yet. Although it is kind of funny to, to step out this door and have Barry sh he stick, stick the end of his magnum into Jill's face. Oh, man. <laughs> and, well, Barry would have introduced us to Forrest and handed us, us, us his bazooka. Which is a... That's quite the misnomer. This is not a bazooka. It is a grenade launcher. There's a bit of a difference. But we are going to equip it because... Well, we need to get the explosive rounds out of it. And the only way to unload the bazooka is violently. Yes, unlike in Resident in later games, uh, apparently once the grenades go in go into this thing, they go in in armed, so the only safe way to get them out of there is to fire them. But, here we have our armor key. Woohoo! And since we didn't encounter Barry by forest, we get to see him here. Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No. But something's wrong with this house. Whoa. This hall is dangerous. What? Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. No, Come that's on. a terrible idea. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. And now we get the acid rounds. Which, well, we want. <laughs> There's not much more to be said about it than that. So I guess when Barry said hall, he meant house. 
Yes, the house is dangerous, but this is the safest room in the entire game, so, uh, this hall's not that dangerous. And, of course, this weapon's is powerful against living things, Barry. They don't really make weapons to, to attack not living things. But whatever. Let's come in here and say hi to Richard. Oh my gosh, Richard, he's still alive! What happened? Oh, Jill. This house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! Demons? You're wounded! What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake. And also poisonous. Uh... Poisonous? Oh no. Richard, hold on! There is serum. Oh no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Run, Jill! And of course, the serum is right where we expect it. The difference, of course, is that I haven't really been to that side of the house. Well, good thing we have a weapon with some ammunition we need to spend. Aha! Here, hold this. Package for you, sir! You too! And one for you. Alright, we have one more round left. But we are not going to spend it on the things down here. Because they're dogs. Much as I dislike the dogs, I'm not going to throw a grenade at them. I have more important things to throw grenades at. Though believe me, the dogs will tempt me. <laughs> Ah! See? You darn doog! Now we're alright. So far. The damage from those dogs can add up really quick on Jill. But, there's no time to worry about dogs, we need to worry about Richard. We also need to worry about going the right way. And what did I just do? Ah, that was weird. Hopefully that won't happen again. My frame rate dropped to like one per second. Richard, you dead? I have presents for you. Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh... Well, rats. And we did, in fact, use the serum on him. Just wasn't in time. Thou art dead. So we're going to take your ammunition. Thanks, buddy. Now, as for this last grenade... You 
you get it. Ah, yeah. Coffee. Ow. Take one of you for my health. I guess I'll be taking the other one for my health, too. Between the dog and the zombie, Jill's pretty messed up. Oh, whatever. Let's go make more use of this key. Aha! Same old puzzle. Same puzzle, different prize. Huzzah. Oh, let's get more prizes. I like going this way. In fact, we'll go in this room. Just so that we can say that we did. Hooray! And here's our tutorial about using the herbs again. It says the it says the same thing it said last time, so if you want to read it again, go ahead and pause the video. Why exactly this door is locked is locked from this side? I don't know. It doesn't have a doorknob on the other side. See? Aha! Incidentally, if you come into this room before exploring downstairs, then you'll run into Barry in here, too. And he will show you the letter after he is... after he's uh, pointed his gun at Jill. The top part of the letter is missing. Uh, the rest says... Up, 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 uh, days, forget about more, you more, more, I choose death. It seems all the incriminating stuff has been removed, but oh well. That portion of the letter's missing when Barry hands it to you as well. He thinks that perhaps he claims that it was uh, gone when he that it was missing when he when he first saw it. I believe him, but you know. Let's go over here to this bedroom where we're not gonna mess with him. You have stuff to get. Like the lighter! The lighter of lighter! The ultimate lighter! And the shot get... Clip. Right. No, not the shotgun shells for shells that uh, Chris saw oh, when we were here last. Let's take this herb. 
leaves us no space to pick up the other greener, but uh, we have zombies to dodge at the moment. Yes, that was plural. We're not going to fight them, though. Just going to run for it. If you don't run, you're in for a world of hurt. Oh, let's, uh, track this guy's attention. You dead? You are now. Aha! And, well... This is what we brought the lighter for. Why exactly somebody decided to draw a map of the second floor of the mansion in disappearing ink? I don't know. So we shall roast the paper to a golden brown to make the ink visible again. Because that's how disappearing ink works. <laughs> Green herb we can't get, but who cares? That door over there is still locked by the helmet key, so... We're not doing anything there, either. Back downstairs for us. So we'll have to do things with this emblem, but uh, that's going to require a bit more exploration on the other side of the house. So, let's just put stuff away. Let's see. Oh, shotgun up there. Not going to need the lighter for, for a bit. Or the crest. Not really going to need you either. So, next time, we'll head over to the other side of the house. We'll see you then. Later.